Man, school is so boring. I just wish that there was something that could help me get through the long, mind-numbing days. What if I told you there was? There was something that could pull you from the darkest pits of hell up to the sunny skies above, where you don't have to worry about school. No more reading, no more writing, no more math, no more science. Just fun. All you need is a computer, and you go to www.coolmathgames.com, and you're in. And they're not those types of math games. These are real games. There are countless games to play, puzzles, platformers, adventures, and so many more. Cool Math Games has a wide selection of games that allow for endless fun even when you're at school, and it has left a legacy on the gaming world. There are so many enjoyable games to play, more than I could possibly fit into one video. So for this video, I will only talk about a few games. I'll talk about the classics, the best ones, and some of my personal favorites. If I leave out your favorite, sorry, not sorry. These games have cemented themselves in the minds of many kids, including myself. And I think there's one game that truly everyone has played. Like, if you haven't played this game, you should. But right after watching this video. Run. 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 Run is easily one of the most popular cool math games. Run is a flash game that was made by Player 3 and it was released in August of 2008. Run is so simple, but at the same time, so much fun. You play as a little alien woman, and yes, you heard me right, an alien woman. The alien in Run is canonically a woman. There are 50 levels that all consist of tunnels through space, but watch out. These tunnels were not built by the best engineers. There are many holes to fall through in these tunnels. If you fall into space, you're dead. Game's over. But not really. You just respawn at the beginning of the level. The further you get into the game, the more difficult the levels get, as there is very little space for you to jump on. The game is fairly simple, and can easily be beat in one sitting. But that is what makes it so much fun. It's just a little platformer with this little alien woman, Simple, but fun. But what if you wanted more? You can't play the same 50 levels forever. Run 2 was created. It takes the same concepts from the first game, but expands on them. This game opts to use platforms over tunnels, but you can still jump on multiple sides of the platforms. The platforms allow for a lot more complex level designs and allow for more creativity from the player. There are now many more ways to beat each level. You still get to play as the classical alien woman, but there is another character you can play as now, Skater. Skater is much faster than Runner, but is harder to control. Skater can also jump longer than Runner can. Run 2 expands on the original gameplay mechanics that make the experience more unique. And Run would be expanded even further in Run 3. Run 3 is easily the most popular of the three games in the series, and that is mainly because of how many levels there are. The game follows the style of the first game with tunnels that you run through, but it quickly evolves. Sometimes the tunnels are square shaped, hexagonal, octagonal, and even spherical. Falling platforms were even added. These additions really add to the massive expansion of the game and allow for so many unique levels to be made. There's a whole world map with branching paths to explore. These paths each have a gimmick to them. There's an ice path, a little power path, a platform path, and so many more. While you explore, there are many cutscenes that unlock new characters. You start as the runner and quickly unlock Skater, but there are so many more than that. There's the lizard, a scientist, a superhero, and even an angel. And there are even so many more beyond those. The addition of these characters in expansive levels really adds to the massive replayability of Run 3. 
the Run series is arguably one of the most influential Flash games to ever be made. Everyone has played it, and it has helped everyone get through some boring lectures. The world has been taken over by evil robots. Only one person can stop him. Johnny Upgrade. But one problem is that that Johnny can't move at all. He can't do anything. Wait, am, am I using the right controls? I don't- I might be doing this wrong- Oh! I am. Like the game implies, you have to upgrade Johnny. You can't even move at first, but as you collect coins, you can increase speed, jump, time limit, health, and so many other upgrades. You play through the same course a bunch of times until you finally have enough upgrades to make it to the end. You have to run under a falling spike wall, jump over spikes, dodge self-destructing robots, avoid lasers, find a blaster, destroy some more robots, and finally beat a boss. Which is honestly more challenging than I remember. The boss is a giant floating robot head that shoots balls of fire at you. At first, it starts pretty slow, and you think, oh, this is going to be easy, until it starts rapid firing at you, then... That's where it gets pretty difficult. You have to hide under the robot, and one mistake can cost you the whole game. But at last, you finally beat him, and you have become the savior of this world. Johnny Upgrade is a simple platformer, but the ability to upgrade him each time you die is really unique. I can't think of any other games that use this gimmick, and I love it. It's a charming game that can be completed in just one class period. The underground world of duck racing is a tough place to be. It's full of the toughest, ugliest, and meanest people the world has ever seen. One run step, you get thrown in jail. Forever. Or even worse, you end up dead. But you just got your hands on a little duckling. And you're tight for cash. You must train this duck to become the best duck racer in the world. It must be the fastest runner, the best swimmer, and the highest flyer. You must win the championship race. Your life depends on it. This is Duck Life. In Duck Life, you get to play mini games where you jump over logs, fly around and collect coins, and swim to avoid objects. These games allow you to level up, and the more you level up, the better at racing your duck becomes. You do this until you win the championship race. You can play Duck Life forever. You can endlessly play all the mini games and train new ducks. And there just isn't one Duck Life. There are multiple, each with more features and more mini-games to play. A man of fire and a woman of water. Two opposites, destined to save the world. They must work together, or the world will forever be doomed. Fireboy and Water Girl is an adventure game where you get to play as Fireboy and Water Girl. The arrow keys control Water Girl, and WASD control Fireboy. You have to solve platforming puzzles to get to the end of each level. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. My teacher is making us do a group project. If only there was a game I could play with my partner here. Well, there is one. The best part of Fireboy and Water Girl is that the game can be played with two players. One person uses the arrow keys and the other uses WASD. It's so much fun to play with a friend. You collect gems dodge dangerous acid, and solve two-player puzzles to get to the doors at the end. Though it does seem to often evolve into you and your friends getting mad at each other because collaboration can be difficult. Well, I think that about wraps up all the games we need to talk about today. Oh. You want me to talk about that one? Yeah, I should probably talk about those. You gotta make the pizza. The burgers. The shakes, the wings, the cake, the tacos, and so many more. The Papa's games are the pinnacle of what cool math games is. There are so many of them, and they allow for endless fun. There's Papa's Pizzeria, Burgeria, Bakeria, Wieneria, Tacoria, Freezeria, Cupcakeria, Pancakeria, Scooperia, Sushiria, Cheeseria, Pasteria, and Donutteria. Whew. 
All of these games are based around the same idea of making food for some customers. The world has been- oh, nope. Oh. You have to take their orders, then go through the different stations of cooking, mixing, and topping to serve the best quality food to your customers. The challenge comes when you have a bunch of customers to manage all at once. But there are upgrades that make it easier. There's a doorbell, heat lamps, speed upgrades, and many others to make it easier for you to serve multiple customers at once. Papa's games allow endless relaxing gameplay as you mix smoothies, build tacos, cook pizzas, and so many more. The Papa's games is what Cool Math Games is. Without them, they are nothing. And without Papa, we would ha actually have to do work in school. And who wants that? Cool math games define the childhoods of a generation, allowed for you to escape from the pressure of school and explore whole new worlds. You got to be a little alien, a superhero, a man of fire, and a woman of water, and an employee at many fantastic restaurants. I don't know where I'd be without cool math games, and I hope no one else has to go through school without them.